Hi there, this is Srikanth Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to uh, learn about so how to pass a structure variable uh, as a reference. Okay, so there are uh, two kinds of uh, uh, parameter passing techniques. Uh, one is a call by value, so which we have seen in the last lesson. So um, so here now in this lesson, we are going to look uh, so how to pass the structure variable as a, a reference here. Okay. So we'll look uh, the difference between how what is the difference what makes the difference uh, of passing a structure variable as a as a call by value uh, type and call by reference type. Okay. So first let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using a Visual C plus plus 2005 Access Edition. So first I'm creating a new project here. Okay. So all the regular standard procedure. So let me let me name my, the name of my project as a struct by ref here. Okay. So let's take a .c file inside it. Uh, let's say let's say the same uh, struct by ref. Okay, struct by ref .c. Okay. So let me go to the full screen and add all the so basic stuff like header files. So hash include .h. So hash include corner .h. Okay. So void main. So here we are. Okay. So get ch. So let's have a comment at the beginning which shows so what we are going to do. So passing a structure variable. Passing a structure variable as a reference. Okay. So first let us take a structure here. So first let us define a structure uh, by using the type diff since we are using the type diff since last couple of lessons here. So it's type diff struct. Let's keep again the name as employee as we are using in all of our uh, all other lessons examples. EMP. Okay. So let's have all the typical uh, structured numbers like uh, EMP number, uh, care name. Float cell here. Okay. So now, uh, <clears throat> so what we are going to do is uh, first let us uh, uh, create a variable for our structure here. Let's say emp e1. So now what we are going to do is uh, let's assign some value. Uh, I mean, uh, let's say something like this. If e1 is equal to uh, one or let's say ten or uh, I mean Kumar, okay, name and let's have some salary like thirty thousand, okay. So I've taken a structure uh, and assign uh, declared a variable to that structure and assign some data into it into the data members, okay. So now what we are going to do is uh, let's pass this uh, value. Uh, let's say that uh, modi. Let's create another function definition here. Let's say modify pi val so that's going to be the name of the function here which we are going to define so here our intention is to modify the structured numbers using this uh, function here okay so now what we are going to do is let's have uh, an argument here as we have done in the last lesson <coughs> so here what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to modify uh, one field which is uh, even dot uh, emp number uh, to something like this like uh, uh, let's say already we have assigned the value as 10 okay <clears throat> now I am uh, so just uh, modifying that let's also have another function here so here we are using a lot of functions okay so print e1 <coughs> let's say a small function okay uh, let's say emp1 emp e1 okay as its argument and let's uh, print that data correspondingly so let's say slash and slash t the details let's have a small message so all these things are not mandatory so the details of employee e1 okay. so let's say printf slash slash and slash t <coughs> the employee number so the employee number is equal to percentage T e1 dot uh, emp number okay so in same way let's have uh, so all of our messages here slash and slash t the employee name 
so all these things are not mandatory percentage yes comma so even dot name here okay so i'm just printing the details of that structure inside a, a function i have taken a function print even okay and i'm just uh, doing all those things here the employee salary is equal to percentage f uh, even dot cell okay so I have just uh, outputted all the data so I have also modified uh, another function so let's call both the functions here so previous to that let's have uh, the prototypes for both of them since we have defined them after the main here okay so modify by val <coughs> so other function here so two functions two prototypes so let's call them now uh, in our main function here so let's say first let us call uh, the EMP details so let's say that uh, uh, let's call it twice here okay so first uh, so let's call the print em print even function so with even as its argument okay so let's run our uh, program until now if everything is fine it prints the data so the employee even even so let's make it a a big here a font let's increase the font size such that it's uh, more viewable okay so here uh, it just prints the details of employee even uh, so as we have uh, fed into the structure uh, by taking the employee uh, emp even variable so that's it got printed so let's call the modify function now and see what happens now here okay so here so let's call the modify function so we also we have written a other function which is known as uh, modify so its sole purpose in its life is to modify the even variable uh, the emp number to 33 so let's see how it works here okay <clears throat> so although it might work inside the function okay uh, let's call let's call it uh, let's say so modify by val so modify by val even okay so i have just called the function uh, so if I call, uh, if I call it, uh, if I run the program once again. So if you, uh, nothing happens because uh, let's have the uh, print even function uh, once again here. Okay. So let's uh, print the data once again since we have uh, called after calling the modify by val function. So here our intention we have changed modified the EMP uh, EMP number to 33. So after that, uh, once again, I have called this uh, print even function. Now let's run our program. So what happens? So if you observe here, uh, the number uh, never gets changed to 33 here. Okay. So that's the, the reason behind that uh, because so as as you pass the argument, uh, the structure variable as argument in this uh, modify by val function. So whatever the changes you ma you made here, uh, just only uh, stays until the the function or the compiler executes uh, this particular block here okay so as it got gets terminated from this execution and goes back the control to the main so the, the normal values the whatever the modifications you have changed uh, to this uh, structured member gets terminated and it's uh, uh, and it's uh, reverse backs to whatever the data uh, actually the structure holds here okay so to uh, to demonstrate that uh, if you have uh, have a printf statement inside your uh, multi function so let's say uh, the employee number now in modify function let's say modify by val function okay so to clearly understand how it's uh, going in underneath the hood here so let's say even dot uh, emp number so uh, at this instance uh, it might work here okay so if you run the program so, okay so if you observe here in this message the employee number now in the modify by value function is 33 so as soon as you run the uh, you come out of this function and go back to your uh, uh, execution and uh, uh, go back to your execution to uh, main function here so here um, it's taking the time to come back from the output and uh, as soon as again if you're printing uh, uh, the original data which contains uh, which consists of 10 anil kumar and uh, 30,000 as its salary uh, into this uh, particular uh, even variable so that's uh, the original data gets printed here that gets printed here okay so that's what happening here in, the, in our function here okay so first it gets print it prints all the employee even uh, details and then it's uh, inside of the modify function it actually modifies the value as we have passed it by value here so as soon as we come out of the function 
uh, then uh, the same thing prevails here once again okay so in order to tackle this problem um, we need to uh, pass the structure variables by reference okay so let's see how it uh, works here let's have another function here so instead of uh, modify by well let's have another function let's say it's a white uh, modify by ref let's have another function as an argument emb e1 as an argument and now let's uh, <coughs> modify the data so before that uh, the passing by reference if you uh, recall your uh, function basics uh, you, ne you need to pass uh, so modify uh, let's call this argument okay so modify by a ref okay so let's have a prototype first since we are defining a new function here control c let's have on the top of the main the same thing and semicolon and let's call the function okay let's call the function for the one last time and uh, let's say emp ampersand e1 here okay so here we are uh, uh, passing the address uh, uh, initial address or the address of the entire structure okay so where the it's stored in the memory reference so here instead of uh, passing the value directly you are passing the address of the structure variable uh, and uh, when addresses comes into picture so we need to have a pointer variable to hold that address so for that reason we are taking in this uh, formal parameter uh, as a pointer okay structure to a pointer to a structure uh, as a as an argument here okay so now if you say something like this uh, if you say e1 or arrow and if you say em uh, emp number so to 55 and you come back to your uh, main function so you have just modified the emp number to 55 which is originally 10 here so now if you use your uh, print e uh, print e1 function okay so now if you use your uh, print e1 function with uh, even as its argument so now if you run the no, 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 if you run the program so you have here two few parameters to call print e1 emp maybe i have missed uh, this one here modify by ref two few parameters to call so modify by ref emp e1 and uh, <laughs> so what a silly mistake i have made uh, it's uh, sending the address we don't need while calling you don't need the name of the structure here explicitly so that's the reason it's not working here uh, run the program so now if you observe, uh, so in the first instance we have just uh, printed the details of uh, employee even and next we have used a modify by val function if you look back to the program and we have uh, changed, tried to change the uh, the value of the EMP number to 33 inside the function. So as it works uh, well within the function and as soon as you come back, uh, control passes to the main, uh, if nothing happens, the changes were not affected uh, in our uh, original structure here, okay. So now if you use your... Uh, uh, call the reference method uh, by calling the uh, this mod pi ref uh, function using this uh, structure uh, passing the structure variable uh, as a reference uh, here what happens is you are sending the address of the structure and storing it in a pointer and using the memory addresses and uh, the pointer concept of to the structure variable uh, you are just uh, having uh, this i know this 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 is a special symbol which is used uh, so if you re recall your uh, structure to a point of basics whenever you reference your structure using a pointer you are not uh, supposed to use the stored operator uh, instead of that you need to use this uh, arrow operator here okay so if you, uh, you have just modified the emp number to 55 uh, inside our modify by ref function so as soon as the control uh, goes back to the main function uh, the it affects the original uh, data uh, inside the structure and gets uh, the whole thing to uh, and change the whole thing uh, emp number to 55 here so that's the reason if you use the print even function after the using the modify by ref function uh, you just get the original data here okay let's come out of the full screen and uh, go to the output here once again okay so that's the reason uh, if you observe here uh, so you are uh, the number employee number has got changed to 55 okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, reference, uh, uh, passing the structure variable as a reference. To, to summarize once again, so we have taken a very uh, basic structure definition uh, using the typedef uh, uh, variable keyword and we have just uh, 
uh, taken two important functions one is a uh, modified by value so where we are trying to modify the value of the structure by passing the structure variable as a value pass by value technique and then we have taken another function uh, modify by ref uh, where we have uh, uh, taken the uh, structure variable as a reference and uh, using the pointer we are storing the address of the original structure and then using the arrow operator here so we uh, we are uh, modifying the uh, original structure contents which takes effects even though the function gets uh, executed and goes control goes back to the main function here okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye